Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Matt here back as always once again for some more XCOM Enemy Unknown on Classic Iron Man difficulty. Here we are at the base and with a rundown of things coming up in the next few days. Two days till we bring all our troop weapons up to par with the aliens at long last with the plasma sniper rifle. Four days till another firestorm is built. Six days till the council decide our fate. Whether or not we're going to lose any more funding or perhaps even gain some more. Eight days meanwhile till the thermo generator is being built. I built a spare one off camera just to you know, get some more juice out and help clear up some more stuff in the base and 10 days to our next batch of side testing is done but for the meantime as always scan for activity and look for some trouble ah finally research is complete let's have a look at the old notes it a very short entry surprisingly perhaps it was inevitable that we would eventually be called upon to develop a weapon of this kind indeed just as you did with laser weapons Feel free to pause and read at your leisure, as always, here we go. I will be building some of those shortly. In the meantime, the next step I'm going to take is research Illyrium, which will get us access to not only Titan armor, but also, hopefully, ghost armor. Assuming I I can recall my research trees correctly. In the meantime, let's manufacture some of these. Oh, these are quite pricey. Okay, let's just build two for now. Wow. Expensive in terms of money, Illyrium and alloys. But hey, we've got them at last. Let's scan for some more trouble. We have a firestorm built. Let's head to the hangar quickly and just... Let's see. Give it loadout. Give it plasma cannons. Confirm. Job done. So we have a firestorm in Africa, no, two in fact, one in North America, I think in South America, one in, ah, oh, we don't have one in Europe, that was it. So let's send Demon 1 down to Europe. And that will be in Europe in three days. So I'll keep that Raven 3 there for now. In the meantime, I'll just dismiss this one. Goodbye. We get a bit more money per month because we don't have to pay the rental fees, as it were. Much like in the original XCOM, we don't actually own these jets. We rent them from, I think it's the US Air Force. At least it was in the original game, but in this presumably we just rent them from whatever country owns them. Most probably the United States. But that doesn't matter because we will very soon have a firestorm on almost every continent except for South America because who gives a fuck really. One day till Illyrium's done, two days till accounts report. Let's get this Illyrium researched. Lovely, let's look at this now. You're free to pause and read at your leisure. Basically, it's not found on Earth and it's beyond our capabilities to manufacture it. Oh, we can now improve the arc throw though, which is good. But in the meantime, we have Titan armor. Uh, I think you have to actually. Tell you what, let's advance the plot a bit and research the hyperwave We've communicator. We've certainly had an influx of new developments recently. Well, the sectoid commander is an intriguing subject. I have to admit, this device has also captured my attention. Well, it wasn't a priority until now, Dr. Vaynan, but go ahead, knock yourself out in the name of science. Now, moment of truth. Incoming transmission. We are oh, extremely yeah. impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Check it out, folks. We're still in the game. The US, Argentina, Brazil, Russia and South Africa have withdrawn, naturally, unfortunately, but... We will be in touch, Commander. They ain't taking us down just yet. Let's scan for more activity. We've researched the hyperwave communications. As always, feel free to pause and read at a leisurely pace, preferably your own. No pressure. And then pause and read the rest. We can now build a hyperwave relay, which we shall do. I appreciate right your now. efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. In fact, we can build one right here. Hyperwave relay. Look at that. Dirt cheap. We got the beacon, we got the power. Oh yeah, we got the power. Two days with thermo generators built. I could actually build a satellite nexus here in the meantime. And start maybe stripping away some of the old hubs. That will give us a bit more space to put cooler things in. 
like labs and workshops. So ship transfer to Europe almost done. Thermo generator done in two days. Aircraft transfer. Pretty uneventful so far. Online. Hey, we've got the generator done. I'll deal with other stuff like that off camera. Side testing. Oh, light plasma rifles. Whoa, whoa, they're gonna give us a lot for that. Okay, 1597. How many was that? They want six light plasma rifles, and they're willing to give me like I mean, 1.6 grand, nearly, for them. How much is it to build light plasma rifles? Oh, look at this. Yep, manufacture those, and we will sell them to the UK. Where's, where's my money? Oh, there it is. Whew. For a moment, I thought I'd been ripped off by my own country. Here we are, British troopers fighting with a new advanced weapon. That I totally didn't provide to them, officially. Scan for some more activity. Could be a quiet episode. Ah, view the results. You are all a disappointment. Crushing dis Amy, Amy, why? Okay, Amy and Loki aren't psychic. That's fair enough. They're still excellent snipers. And I'm sure Wallace is a very good... Whatever, whatever he is. Let's have a look. Who can we add? Now the good thing is it will grey out people you've already tested so you don't accidentally put them in again. Let's test some of our new troopers. So I'm with Fedor Petras. Just start from the bottom and work our way up. Flynn Brooks. And possibly the coolest name on the list. Maximilian Wolf. But wait! Who is this chappy up here? Gerard Fournier. He's from France. He's a sniper rather than an assault trooper. I like to think that he is Monsieur Fournier's brother who has come to join XCOM and avenge him. Let's see if we can just have a look at him quickly. Okay, different ethnicity, but could be his brother from another mother. Who knows? But enough about genetics between siblings. Let's just scan for some more trouble. Come on, you alien bastards. Where are you? What are you doing? Commander, Aha. you should take a look at this. We've just detected a massive oh new contact. We're picking up an enormous power signature. Whatever it is, it must be fully loaded. We should expect heavy resistance. Okay, I'm going to scramble Demon 2. Come on, Demon 2. You should be able to take this fucker down. I hope. Come on, Demon 2. Did I build anything? Shit. Oh fuck! Come on, Demon 2, take it down! Get ready to abort at moment's lotus! Taking heavy fire! Woo! Look at that! Jesus! How close look, I think there's like a tiny sliver of blue that you probably won't be able to see, but I can. Oh wow. Now that was something, wasn't it, folks? Jesus. Okay, let's get the troops ready. And welcome back to the squad we are going to be sending along on this mission against what could very well be a battleship. In fact, it looked a lot like one. First off, we've got Collateral, aka Captain Akin One Day, or vice versa, sporting neon purple hair. The reason for that is I like to give all my psychic troopers neon coloured hair, which I could do because I pre ordered the game and got the customization pack for free. Next up we have Nyx, of course, packing one of our new laser, sorry, plasma sniper rifles. Mr. M packing heavy plasma, as is collateral, of course. Loki also packing a plasma rifle, sorry, plasma sniper rifle. Marte also packing a plasma rifle, as is Squaddy Carlson, because I don't have enough absolute 100% top-notch troopers to make a full team, so I've had to bring a squaddy along. But he's got an alien grenade. Can we give him anything else? No, I think that'd be good enough. So, without further ado, Sky Ranger away. Over we go. Dropship has arrived. Commence the assault. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Yes, this is going to be an absolutely mahoosive one. But how big exactly? Who knows? Down we come, and oh, it's a battleship. 
Definitely. It is a battleship. This is bigger than anything we've seen so far. Oh, fuck. Considering the impact, the ship seems to be in relatively good shape. We don't know what to expect in there, but you should make your way to the craft's bridge as quickly as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, the battleship. Good god, how huge this thing is! It's basically like an alien base in miniature. And one firestorm took it down. Booyah! XCOM represent. Now, we're on this weird little landing platform here. Let me just zoom in some more. First up, let's just bring our heavies along here. Right, can I actually... that's... no. Uh, weird problems with height. We're on this platform here. There's another one over there. Don't know if you have a good view to it, but... Let's just bring our heavies up. We're gonna take this slow and steady. I'm hearing chrysalids. Okay, we've got to open the door now. Three, two, one, breach. Anticlimax of the century. How about can we? I think we can get up there. No, that's just that's just stage decoration. Right, tell you what, we'll just hold on overwatch for although actually I'll move him up here. He's within four units of the door. Wait, he doesn't have that ability. Never mind, scratch that. At least he's still close to the door. Just put snipers on Overwatch. With their rifles, as opposed to their pistols. Marta, you're in a good position there. You can't really grapple anywhere, so that's where you stay. Your Sentinel Overwatch ability. I'm definitely hearing chrysalids. Go on overwatch with your pistols, you're not going to get much use out of your rifles for the moment, but... And this is why I love skeleton armour, ladies and gents. Because we're going to go up... Oh, crap, I forgot the mover. That was silly of me. In the meantime, however... Let's move... Gunnar, out here. Now, can he skeleton up? No, because I've been a bit silly. Never mind. Perhaps I can sort of move him here. He's only a squaddy after all. Collateral will go on Overwatch. Marty will go here because she can move like the sodding wind. So don't worry, Gunner, you're covered. If anything pops out, we'll shoot it. Okay, there's definitely something in there. Hey, you hear anything? Oh crap! That sounds like chrysalids. Why have I triggered half the ship? I've got a visual. Oh god. I don't know what's going on! That is not good. Oh crap, they're flanking gunner. We've got introductions and all sorts going on. Okay, did anyone catch what was going on there? Because I didn't. 
Right, screw this. Uh, Gunner, how about you move up here? Here they come. Possibly triggering shit. Uh, yeah, how about you just go up here? Oh, that's stupid. What am I? Can I run you away? I can possibly move him in a second. Tell you what. She can fire twice though. Let's take these out first. How could you miss? Adjusting sights. Come on, try that again. That's more like it. Mr. M can finish them Weapons off, MVP, hopefully. We don't need you to. Although it might be preferable. Screw it. Let's keep Mr. M on Overwatch, perhaps. Oh shit. That's Missed not what I wanted. Okay, can I fire on the cyber disc? I can, but... Oh, no, I just need to get you out of here, boyo. Loki, can you... No. Can you grapple up anywhere? Funny enough, you can. Assuming I can, of course, actually... Actually get you up there, which you probably won't let me. No. So that plan was kind of doomed from the... Or not. Right, well, he can go and overwatch with his pistol. He seems to be hidden at the moment. Meanwhile... We've got a sniper here, so let's use her. Yeah, well, we can only finish that one off. Never mind, better than nothing. And test our new plasma sniper rifles. Oh, Nailed look at them. that. Like a railgun right through the heart. Well, Carlson. I suppose we could run and gun you. Why not, Going eh? In for the kill. We move you here, which puts you in cover. From the cyber disc, at least. And you can just finish this sod off, can't you? Booyah! Squaddy gets his first kill. Good on you now. It's the M. Overwatch. <laughs> I hear chrysalids. If I remember, those chrysalids were really, really close by as well. Here comes the cyber disc. And some drones. Just scuttling up the walls there. And now he's shooting at our squaddy. How dare you? How very dare you? Who can he spot? He can spot that little thing. What just shot him? Time for you to do some scouting, boyo. What do you know? Now, Loki. You cannot. Pretty much can't do anything, really, can you? Can't even run around up here. Why did I send you up here? Never mind. Okay. We're gonna have to move our squaddy out of there. Let's move him down here. Because I still don't know if this room has anything horrid in it. Loki, we need to just get you down from there because that's a stupid position. I don't know why I put you up there. Sort of like... Idiotic attempt at a tactical advantage. Move you down here. Okay, he can see... The sick. Now oh, he can see the drone. Tell you what, I just want to get my snipers out of there for the moment. Except maybe for Nyx. Oh, this is... Perhaps I can grapple her across there. Can I... Oh, damn it, I can! I could have avoided all that misery and pain. No matter, she can do that next turn. Perhaps. Well, Marta. Who you? Oh, that'll be dashing as well. Precious little cover here. Well, we'll move her here. She can go on Overwatch. Mr. M can go on Overwatch. And you, madam, can move elsewhere and reload. Get there, reload. Let's rock! 
Oh, here comes the side. Oh, crap. Cyber Disc has flanked her. Right, that was a oh, God. That was a terrible decision. Why did I do that? They're moving to flank me. Don't you dare. He dashed. The little shit dashed. I'm sure he did. Yes. Which means he can't fire. And she can fire twice, however. So go for the Cyber Disc. Taken care of. Down in one shot. Look at that. I need to get you. We have Mr. M move up here. You can. No, he can't actually see the little thing. How about you, Squatty? You can't see either. Never mind. Go on, Overwatch. We'll get collateral back out of there. About here we'll do. Marta can patch her up. You know, I can start getting our snipers into positions as well. Man up and get back out there. Yeah, man up. Meanwhile, let's start moving our snipers across. Starting with, if I can select her, if the camera doesn't dick me around. Grappling. Grapple across. See anything? She can fire on it. What's her chance? We're taking it. Taken care of. Anticlimactic death there, just pshoo, boom, dead. Okay. Move Loki here. He's got his pistol out already. Go on, Overwatch. This is a horrible position to be caught in. This little area here. Now we've already seen the chrysalids. Charlson, scout for us. Oh shit! We got berserkers. Okay, that's not quite what I... Luckily. Aha! See you later, shitlord! Grappling. <laughs> Unfortunately, shame he can't fire, but never mind. Ooh, we need to actually sort of move some people back. I'm sure I reloaded all your weapon. Never mind. Actually, perhaps a well-placed rocket will work wonders. But let's do that, shall we? Just a nice little air burst in the next room. Firing rocket. Booyah! Softens them up a bit. And I've still got two rockets on Mr. M. I do not like no! that. I wanna die! Calm down, woman. Although it would have been nice if you had hit that berserker. You soldier. Can't really run and gun with you, can we? No. Mr. M. Here. Now how about we suppress the little sod? Free shot the target moves. They might as well just go on Overwatch, really. Uses less ammo as well. Hey, Marta, time for you to move back here. Go on Overwatch. Stevens would be awfully nice if you also sort of moved somewhere that wasn't there. See if we can secure this area a bit, get the higher ground. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? Anywhere I can go. Wait, I can go over here. I think. No, it won't actually let me grapple back either. Probably for the best, though. I mean, he is a melee creature, so he has to get up close and can't really do anything at range at all. Tell you what, I'll put her on Overwatch anyhow, and she can shoot him when he charges out. I know she's not in cover, but she doesn't really need it when fighting a berserker. Shoot lasers out of its arse or anything. Well, that was possibly the quickest turn in Christendom. Double fire, bullet storm! We'll wait for it to have a little tantrum, run towards us. For the love of God, get me out of oh, here! Oh, calm down, man. Or, alternatively, panic and kill it. That is fantastic. Now, let's grapple down here. 
to assess the lay of the land. Grappling. Zero cover. But there is a mute on there. What a cheeky little sod he is. Now. Loki, we need to move you onto this balcony here. Unfortunately, you cannot see him either, which is a shame. Is there anything up here? Oh, I'm stupidly paranoid. Just move you up here, Nyx. See anything coming, shoot it. And if it's a chrysalid, grapple out of the way. Can he take a shot? Should he take the shot, in fact? 71% chance to hit? Why not? He's down. Tango down. And we really need to just get out of here. So, go Marte, go. Not doing too bad. Taking out a cyber disc, a berserker and a muton. Now this is where I want to get my snipers, up to where Carlson is. On each of these matching ones, or even this central one. Can I? That would be the better choice, because that way nothing can actually sort of get up there. So, assuming... Could dash. Dash them both up there. We'll dash them both by this grab lift. It seems secure down here for the moment. At least I really hope so, and I hope there isn't a chrysalid hiding just around that corner. I think chrysalids are actually over there in this other nacelle. Is that perhaps a better term to use? Okay, go Loki, go Loki, go. Jump down those ramps. Marte, I need you to continue. Hmm. Okay, we'll just move you here for now. If you hear anything, let us know. Although I like to think that area is roughly kind of sort of clear. I don't want to trigger any more aliens until I've got my snipers in position, so do not move beyond Carlson. And Carlson, stay exactly where you are. You know what, Mr. M? You will start moving... Here. Terrible place. I'm kind of kicking myself, but in a way I'm preparing for enemy within, which requires quick movements to get those meld canisters needed for cybernetics and other cool things. Hey, you hear anything? Although the fact I'm doing this on like classic Iron Man is probably ill-advised. Uh, this ain't looking good, but I think I know where they are now, kind of. Mr. M? Need you here. I think we need my snipers down there as well. Although they are in a very, very good position. Basically, you've got these two separate walkways leading up to the bridge. And I expect there's a sector pod on at least one of them, which is not very nice at all. But hey, beggars can't be choosers and other trite sayings. Now I know for a fact there's chrysalids in here. I'm sure of it, because they were spotted. Wow, that's a lot of fire. One of these shits is going to come out. I know it. You hear that? Ah! A chrysalid has shown itself! And we've missed terribly. Shot wide. But at least they're coming to us. With none of my snipers able to actually... Fire. Alright, Mr. M, do you see anything? Go on Overwatch. Loki, go on Overwatch. Nyx, go on Overwatch. You two get your asses back here ASAP. Can you see anything through the hole there? Can you see anything there? That looks clear, but just stay on Overwatch. Marte, assist him. Until we know that the rear of the ship behind us is clear, I'm really, really nervous about moving forward. And she can fire twice on Overwatch, so that's good. Now don't reload, just go on Overwatch again. He was spotting them. There he is! Snipers away! Now, Collateral's missed, because she's terrible. Nyx, on the other hand... Oh, there's another one. Hello. Ah, oh, you cheeky little sod. I saw you. 
Oh, that cheeky little bugger. What are you doing up there? 